Say it one more time. Hi! Where are we at? Um, fixing the tractor. Yeah, what tractor are we fixing? A John Deere one? Yeah, a John Deere 2440. So, with so a lot of these... Plug? Yep. So, I, Quinn's going to show you where the plug is to drain the hydraulic fluid. Yep. What happens when you take that out, Quinn? Gas goes. The oil goes down, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, what kind of oil do you use? Hydraulic oil. Hydraulic oil. Yep. And then after you drain the hydraulic oil out, then we're able to go and use a three-quarter inch wrench on this, right? Mm hmm And what does that take out? Um. The filter. Filter. Yeah. We take out the hydraulic filter when we use a three-quarter inch wrench uh, to take that filter off. And then after we take that filter off, is there another filter, Quinn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's called a screen, though, isn't it? Yep. And here's that screen. You can stay right there. Yep. Stay. This, Don't stand up. You're going to bunk your head, bud. This is a screen. Yep. And what happens when that gets really clogged? Um. The hydraulics don't really work, do they? The hydraulics. Door. Yep. Okay, let's wrap that up again. Because we don't want to get that dirty. We don't want any dirt in our hydraulics. But, guess what? what? Is there more filters? Yep. Where is there more filters? Yep, that's an oil filter, but we're working on hydraulics. Dad, so, can I take this off? Yep, we're going to get to that. So put that back on. So right there, you can see where Quinn's putting that on. The light is kind of wonky. Yep. Here. Quinn. We have not taken this off yet. But, so earlier this week, yep, keep cranking. I went and ordered uh, what I thought were the only two filters needed for this tractor. But, keep cranking that off, buddy. If you go and look at our manual right here, you'll see number seven. You can see that right there and go right down there seven Dad. that Dad. says filter stroke control valve so there's actually another filter yep Hold on. okay that's good that that's the what we want don't let it fall in the oil okay whoop so back up bud so what we do here is that gas in that hole? Dad? Okay, so what we have here, I was trying to go and get it, and there's actually an O-ring that's kind of stubborn, and there's another filter right here. Now, what caused this whole issue that we are having I have a feeling was the screen that we showed you that's fairly clean right now. Uh, I actually had to go and clean this off. But I went and ordered what I thought was that screen. Um, uh, and then it turned on out to be this little screen. Which says the uh, hydraulic pump filter. And guess what? It's not the same size. Luckily for me though, this one isn't terrible and I have a feeling I could probably blow it on out and uh, reuse it. So that makes me happy. But just letting you know that there are a total of three filters. Well, one filter and I guess you could call this a filter. I would more so call that a screen. But um, there is a main hydraulic filter and then there's a transmission pump screen right there and then there's a hydraulic pump filter right here and then another thing that you want to go and check while you have it on out right on up in there right there there you can see I actually have it pulled on out that's an inch and a quarter as well and that is the relief valve 
So if you can uh, go and check all those, if you're having PTO problems or maybe uh, things aren't reacting as well as they should, then you can go and check all those. So all this is right here is an inch and a quarter. Most of these pumps uh, or plugs are inch and a quarter. And then the uh, exception to that is this one right here, that's three quarter. And then the other one uh, right there, that where the screen goes, that is just a half inch wrench or a half inch ratchet insert. So I'm sure if you got some half inch key stock, you could probably shove it in there, use a half inch wrench. So, but uh, either way, I hope this helps and uh, God bless.